welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, this is Teacher Michael, and today I'd like to talk to you about line plots. Well, what is a line plot? A line plot is a quick and easy way to display and organize some information. Let's take a closer look at a line plot so that way we can easily identify or see what is a line plot and what's not a line plot. So in our example, we have some animals and we also see the heights of each of the animals. Now, I'm guessing these are stuffed animals because the heights are kind of small. So I see one animal, the panda is 33 centimeters and other animals are 30, 29. I see another animal that's 30. So if we look at our line plot and the line plot is this section of information right here with X's and numbers, we'll see all of the heights of the animals listed at the bottom. We'll also see some X's right above. Now those X's represent, each X represents one animal. So I know that by looking at this line plot, there is one animal that is 29 centimeters tall. And that is true because if you look at the animals, you can see that the mouse is 29 centimeters tall. If you look at the line plot, you'll also see that there are three animals that are 30 centimeters tall. Those animals are one, two, and three. Those three animals are represented by these three X's. So I hope you can begin to see that a line plot is really just a nice, easy way to organize information. So based on this, can you tell me how many animals are 32 centimeters tall? Well, let's go over to 32 centimeters and see. Well, I see that there are two X's, so I know that there are two stuffed animals that are 32 centimeters tall. And if we go back and we look at our picture, we can see that the alligator is 32 centimeters tall and so is the donkey. So this is what we use our line plot for. Let's read the directions for our worksheet, what is a line plot, and get started right away. Which pictures below show line plots? Check the correct answers. Okay, let's take a look at this first graph right here. So this first graph is really nice. It shows everyone's favorite animals. You can see mice, lizards, cats, and dogs. Although it's a really nice way to display information, it is not a line plot. Here's why. One reason it's not a line plot is it doesn't have the numbers on the bottom that our line plot had in the example. Also, this graph has colorful bars and not X's. So these are two reasons that this graph is not a line graph. This graph is actually called a bar graph and it's another great way to organize information but it is not a line plot let's take a look at our next picture our next picture shows the heights of plants and already i'm beginning to think it is a line plot first of all i see the numbers on the bottom just like in my example so i think that is one reason it is a line plot another reason i think it's a line plot is i see the x's above some of the numbers so this tells me that for heights of the plants, there are three plants that are at two. There are also two plants that are at three. This is the same kind of information that we got from our line plot in the example. So I think that this picture is a line plot. Let's go ahead and check it. Let's look at our next picture. Our next picture has the numbers on the bottom and has the title of the grass size of TVs. So, Using this graph, I can see that one TV is 26, another TV is tw two TVs are 27 because there are two dots. So does this look like a line plot? I think so. Even though it doesn't have the X's like our example and the other picture we saw, it does have dots to represent each TV. And whether it's a dot or an X, they're set up in the same way. They have the numbers on the bottom and each dot or X represents just one TV. So this is a line plot. Let's go ahead and check it. Our final picture is really awesome also, but it is not a line plot. This is a picture graph. I know that because there are pictures. I can see the pictures of the apples, of the kiwis and the bananas and the strawberries. Another reason I know it's not a line plot is because there's no numbers on the bottom. We have the names of the fruits. So this is a classic picture graph. Remember, boys and girls, that when you're looking for a line plot, 
you can look for the numbers on the bottom and the X's or dots above the numbers that represent just one. Each X or dot just represents one TV or one animal. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we're sure to see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.